Playing Remy has been amazing. Playing a guy who starts off kind of good and goes through tragedy and then really loses himself and then has a son and the son dies and that kind of brings him back to reality and now he's back on the heroic path but he's still making mistakes along the way. So Remy's an awesome character because he he moves and, and also he gives me the ability to play drama and comedy. You know, Remy can wake up in a casino <laughs> in his underwear wrapped in a bearskin rug or he can be beating somebody up in a church. She's very thoughtful about everything about herself. You know, the way that she dresses, the words that she chooses. And then I was thinking, you know, why don't I open my own business and really start saving money for med school? You serious? Oh, I know it's going to be hard. <laughs> you know, I have to find a place and get accredited. You got to get employees. It's a big cash layout. So she feels really strongly about being herself in her m most natural state. I think it's something that her grandmother probably encouraged in her. And also spending hours kind of pressing her hair in the mirror, trying to manipulate it. It's just not her style. I had known you were so good at this, I wouldn't have divorced you. <laughs> the first day we met, we just kind of clicked, and we have our own little kind of language. That kind of family feeling and the ability to find humor in some of our most difficult moments, I think is a strength of Christina and Remy and something that that people really resonate with, that you know, I hear fans saying, you're a light in the show. It's hard, you know, there are a lot of people out there looking for work. Yeah, yeah, but you have an advantage. Which is? Which is none of them are you. I just have a ball working with her. There's so many shades of black people, and so the more people we can have represented, especially in daytime, you know, when people our home or tape it and watch it after they come home from work. We want to see ourselves reflected on screen. And I certainly did. Being the only regular African American male on the show, I feel like, not to say that I'm, you know, I have the weight of my <laughs> specific demographic on my back, but I do feel a responsibility to show them an honest portrayal of an African American man. Not a good, not a bad, not stereotypical, just an honest portrayal of what it is to be this specific African-American man. I don't think so. No, no. You, a room full of kids, and me. <laughs> you win. I win. <laughs> I grew up in a place that was predominantly white, and I, I didn't know how much I was thirsting for that identification. And so it, that was a, a kind of wonderful moment for me to see that now I am in the position to be that face for people, you know, be a voice of a different, coming from a different place, telling a different story, telling, bringing my history and my family origins and my experience in the world to daytime. Things are really going to shift for him and he's going to have to make the decision of what kind of man he wants to be. And that's all you get from me.